Hello everyone, this is Norinrad89 here, coming with another Dark Dimension 2 video. This is going to be Day 5, Node 5, so we're going to tackle this one today. Looks like it's going to be a bunch of crossbones and winter soldiers and some Kree Reaper. Let's get in there. I believe... All of our characters have their full cooldowns, except for maybe Captain Marvel, I believe. So we'll be tackling this node, jumping into this for the first time too. Like I said, I haven't watched any strategy videos for this node, so I'm just kind of jumping in. See what I can do, see what happens. Also, if you guys want to continue and watch the Dark Dimension 2 series that I'm posting, hit that subscribe button in the right-hand corner. Thank you very much. And we'll hopefully get this going. It's always, like I said, dreadful, dreadful loading time all the time, that's for sure. So we're going to jump into this. Start. Targeting some of these characters That crossbones is gonna be kind of annoying also JJ because of her dispel Let's Try to get that Minerva ultimate off I really need someone that could like like the star lord or Jessica Jones someone that passes energy to her I really like my team but I need someone that kind of passes energy around like a Thanos or a Star-Lord or Jessica Jones just so I could hopefully get that Minerva Ultimate off a lot more. Ooh, those crossbones are going to be annoying. We dispelled the taunt from the one, sprayed the AoE with Falcon. And... That bleed, I'm surprised that actually stuck. Oh my god, Jessica Jones has a ridiculous amount of resistance. I think resistance in general, just as you go up in the nodes, it gets harder. Try to focus down this crossbone and see what we can do. We're going to ult into him because he's got defense down. Try to whittle him down. He resisted that slow. See what I mean? Like, just resist, resist. Try to pass some bleeds around, but Jessica Jones resisted anyway. Ooh, but that ultimate didn't do that much because he's offense down, so thank God. Ooh, we got yellow on Minerva and shield security, so that's not looking too good right now. But we'll see what we can do. Flip those debuffs. Ooh, resist it again. You just just get used to seeing it. They should just like permanently post that above Jessica Jones' head. Resisted. Stun on that crossbones, thank God. We're going to try to whittle down that other crossbones now. And start taking these characters into red and yellow. Hopefully get them all low at the same time. That way we can maybe take out multiple characters at the same time. That would be a benefit for us for sure. Let's see... Hit her again, and she just resisted all the time. Like I said with JJ, just resists. I think that's the first time debuffs have even landed on her. So let's see if we could just get this going. Start whittling down this node. Taunts from crossbones. Like I said, tanks just, they bother me the most because they just prevent you from doing what you want to do. And we got Dispel from Captain Marvel, but not enough. It'd be cool if they had, like, if we had a character that could, uh, another one who could mass Dispel or just take taunts away. 
All right, let's get Jessica Jones out of there. She's our next priority kill. There she goes. Let's go after these Kree nobles and Reapers and... No, what is that? Korath. It's not a Reaper. It's Korath. Oh, boom. Got some of them in red. Start passing some slows around. Get some turn meter. I think I'm just gonna use basic. Yeah, we're just gonna do basic. Like, I want to wait for other enemies to drop in before we use that scientist supreme ultimate. There we go. Got some. Now we got the reapers and some mordo. And it looks like an oracle dropping in. Pass those debuffs around. And then with Minerva, we'll just start trying to get some bleeds and stuff going around. But like I said, the resistance is awfully high at this level. Ooh, we got that stun on Mordo. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Defense up and speed ups everywhere. Death proof. We like that. Those buffs come in handy for sure on this dark dimension too. Turn meter from Falcon. Let's do it. Let's pass some more slows around. That's what we want to do. What you want to do is try to just slow everyone down. You definitely got to have a character that applies slows, like a shield security or a quake that, like, you know, or Black Panther. Just somebody who does it easily. And then we have Scientist Supreme also who flips and adds debuffs and buffs and all those kind of things. So overall, I'm very happy with the team that I chose to take to gear 13. My next person, I think, is Star-Lord, though. I'm working on Star-Lord, so I'm going to take him up. And then as a team squads, I'm working on the Asgardians. Get that Black Bolt unlock, hopefully. Because that's pretty much one of the meta teams right now. Oh yeah, that turn meter. We love that from Falcon. Like I just, oh, I love that. It really helps out. Winter Soldier. I wonder how these hard guys, like how hard these guys are going to hit. That's what I'm wondering. Oh yeah, come on now, we're getting there. Oof, they're all getting their turns. Dang, at least Scientist Supreme has those two heal stacks. Like Winter Soldier went at her, but she's gonna she's gonna heal up a little bit right now. Well, she's got heal block, but. We want to flip these debuffs when we can, if we can, without her dying. That was pretty close. That Scientist Supreme is looking pretty low on health right now. Turn meter, resisted. Just, ugh, that Jessica Jones up there. She's, she's definitely something to deal with. We're going to ult into her because we want to... Try to chop her down as fast as possible. Spray the AoE. She's gonna take that into her. Like I said, I want, like she's my main priority. Just getting Jessica out of there right now is the best thing we can do. Because the Winter Soldiers hit hard, but they don't do. They don't do enough of anything else really to actually pose a threat to us right now. All right, let's hit it, let's hit it. Come on, I'm getting into it. There's a lot of debuffs on the field. We're gonna go with that offense stuff basic just cause we can a turn meter. We don't really need that right now.
turn meter. There we go. Now we can use it. Ultimate from Minerva. Try to get this done and going. We got 16 enemies left. So, what have we got? Like eight or nine more, like ones that we haven't seen yet. Still wondering who's going to drop in or exactly when they're going to drop in. I don't know for sure. I think we probably have to kill like two more enemies probably before some of the others start dropping in. Boom. Keep all those debuffs going on them. It's always a great help. Alright. Boom. I want to get these winter soldiers out of here now. Those are the main priority. We'll leave those other guys in red. And just try to take down the winter soldiers for the moment. We got one gone. Boom. Kind of wasted some of the attacks on that because, like, I probably could have let some of the bleed just take effect. But there's so many times, like, I've left like bleed on a couple characters, and sometimes, like, you think they're gonna be dead and then they don't die. So I just like to get them out of there as soon as I can. All right, it's like a full Cree team we're going against right now. So let's. Try to take them out. It's Captain Marvel 2, the sequel, right now. I'm just kidding. Flip those debuffs. Thank you, Supreme. Let's see. Can we get this going? We haven't had to use that heal at all, really. Like, that's what's cool is, like, our characters on this note have come close to dying, but not really lost anybody yet like in some of those other ones stun him take this girl out <laughs> ultimate all right we got four left on the field and six more that are going to drop in at some point in some form or fashion we'll see them pretty soon Probably once we get rid of one of these people. Alright, Korath. Let's work them all down. Try to get some of them in the yellow. We're actually going to bounce back between that one. Kree was the Kree Cyborg and Korath. We're going to bounce back between them. So, like, look at all those bleeds. Like, if we leave that, he's still going to survive this. Look at this. <laughs> it's like, that cyborg is ridiculous. Almost. Come on. We want to see the next six people already. There's three of them. Ooh, we got another crossbones on the field. Get some turn meter. Try to get our debuffs going. We're going to stun him, definitely. Oh, resisted. Of course. Resisted. I'm going to ult into the Reaper because she has defense down, so we want to hit her. Oof. Remove his taunt. Let's see what else we can get happening. Let's see what five. We got three more enemies somewhat going to show up sometime soon. Might have to kill one more character since they didn't drop in right there. Minerva Ultimate, boom. Definitely leave a comment down below too, guys and girls. Let me know if you like the 
Dark Dimension 2 series. I'm going to try to, like I said, get the whole thing on video and record all of it. That way it's up here. Especially help out some of the members of our alliance that will eventually be tackling that pretty soon. We're getting down to the wire here. Almost out of here. Oh, we got an oracle and was that a cyborg that dropped in? So we got all the enemies on the field right now. Let's see. Boom. Dispel that taunt. And we got a Mordo back there hiding behind that crossbones. <laughs> Let's take down that soldier. Come on. Pass around some debuffs. I want to get him out of there. Just, just get him out of there. We just need, we just need people gone now. We just need people gone. Ugh! I keep messing up on that. I need to wait till Side to Supreme flips those debuffs. That way, I could actually get an offense up Falcon Ultimate. I kept messing that up. All right, let's whittle down this crossbones. Come on. Oh, he's just taunting like a man. Taunting. He just wants us. Oh, come on. That's, that's crazy. It's like, oh, the stun didn't even matter because it just came out of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Then I think we're going to have some problems here with these Kree. I need to figure out who I'm going to target there. Mordo bothers me too, but that Kree Oracle is going to keep stacking some of that healing. Ult into him. I want Mordo gun, actually. Uh, I did it again. Dang it. I should have waited on that ultimate. <laughs> Come on. Mordo. There he is. He's gone. Alright, just three characters left, people. I need to get to the point where we can just totally basic this out and finish it down. Actually, we're going to use the special right here. We're going to, yeah, we're going to try to get him. Oh, stun on the Oracle, thank God. Boom, 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 boom. Ugh, that healing is just, ugh. I knew we should have targeted that Oracle first, that's for sure. Definitely should have went at him first. Get some turn meter. We're still going to be able to basic this out, I think. We just have to take this guy down. All right. He's got defense down. Just keep hitting him. Ah, oh, see, he just heals so much. Offensed up AoE. Thank you. Thank you, we got it right this time, people. Use the ultimate for Minerva. All right, he's he's about to be gone. We're, we're good. Once he's down, we could basic this out. All right. Like I said, just basic, basic, get our cooldowns back for the next round. Gonna try to tackle that node six tomorrow. Or maybe if I have time tonight, I don't know. Really depends on if the kiddos give me a chance. <laughs> oh yeah, basic out, just come on, don't get all fancy. Here we go. Is he gone? Not yet, not yet. 
Oh, and we got him. There we go, people. Node 5, day 5 of Dark Dimension 2 is done. Some gold orbs. We love those. Thank you all for watching. I hope you like the series. And like and subscribe if you want to keep on watching the Dark Dimension 2 series. Peace out.